Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Once again, just like all my previous makeover videos, I'm gonna show you what this space looked like before. So this is gonna be focusing on organizing the kitchen, but there's gonna be like a small makeover as well, just because as you can see, it's been a full reno. So I'll be decorating like the countertops and all that as well. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and definitely head on over to my page and check out all the videos I've been posting if you enjoyed today's video because there is a ton more like it. So this is what the kitchen looked like when I actually went in to start organizing it. We bought everything brand new since this is an Airbnb and I wanted them to have everything they needed to cook or host or serve or whatever they're going to use the space for. But I had been running over every day and putting stuff in the dishwasher and as it got clean I just put it out on the counter and I would run another load. Um, so all of this is clean and sanitized and all of that before I started putting it away. Yeah, yeah. When things go wrong, it's easy to sing a sad song. Seems like nothing comes for free. I'm kind of going through and just showing you some of the basics. I like to have a rug in the kitchen. We have some bamboo shades in there. We added floating shelves. Just anything to warm up a space since we went with white cabinets and white walls. It's really smart just to add some warmth in there as well. And then we also went with a granite countertop that had a lot of black and gray in it. Um, so in my home, we have like more of a white countertop, but we have gray walls. So I felt like since we were going all white in there, I needed a little bit color um, in the granite and I'm so glad I went with that option because it turned out really well and now you're gonna see Chase putting on some hardware so throughout the whole house we're adding black and gold but when it came to the kitchen cabinets I really like gold sometimes I feel like black and white can be a little harsh not always but in here I definitely just went with the gold look Now I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing. When it looks like this, when you have like a whole kitchen to organize or maybe things aren't already in its place and you're just not in a move and everything's in boxes, the best thing you can do is start with the pieces where you know exactly where they're gonna go. So silverware is pretty easy. Typically it's like the closest drawer to the table cause you're gonna like grab your plate of food and then grab your silverware and go sit down. So that's where I was starting. I was starting anywhere that I knew without a doubt, like this is exactly where I want it. And then you can work on those harder pieces later when you can see what areas and cabinets and drawers are left. Hey, we can make it oh. So your kitchen doesn't have to make sense to everybody, it just has to make sense to you. So keep that in mind. Don't live by the set of rules, like just because I say the silverware has to be in the drawer closest to the table. If that doesn't work for your family or for your kitchen, don't do it. Figure out how you use your space, what's gonna work best for you and your kids, and that's the best way to set up your own space. So as far as this kitchen, um, I have to look at it as it's an Airbnb and I'm assuming most people aren't gonna be storing leftover food. They may not even cook often and if they do, they probably won't have leftovers or they probably won't keep them. So I'm putting that stuff more towards the bottom and keeping things that they'll use more higher up, like on a higher level. I also like to put kids plates and supplies down low. For me, it helped because Savannah could always grab what she needed and bring it to me. It just encourages them to help out in the kitchen but if your kids are just gonna get in there and destroy it and get it dirty I totally get do what works best for you but I'm just trying to set this up knowing a lot of people are gonna be coming in and I'm trying to see what would work the best for like the majority of people Make it all 
I also felt like that maybe a ton of people won't cook in here, but they might want to bake with their kids on vacation or just to make a memory. So I tried to make sure we have everything in this kitchen that you could possibly need. So I'm just trying to find the best spots to put them away, just so they're easy to find, they're easy to put back, um, you're not lost. If you do stay until the end of today's video, I show some pictures at the very end. I did go ahead and decide to like label all the cabinets, but I didn't film it. But if you do want to see the pictures of how it turned out, definitely just stay till the end of today's video. Also for me in a kitchen, a must have drawer is a junk drawer. So not that I want it to look super junky. I like things organized. So I always grab this pack from Target and it has quite a few in it that you can mix and match. But I definitely wanted the junk drawer in here because I know in my home that's where it is. You'll have to let me know where you keep your junk drawer in your house. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you go try to keep like an appliance cabinet. I feel like anytime you can group like items together, it's really going to cut back on you searching for it. Or if your husband or kids put things away out of the dishwasher, it helps them to narrow down on where to put it back. Same goes for our Airbnb. I'm just trying to keep all the like items together. So it makes it super easy to find the things someone's looking for. If you're wondering where I got anything that's in today's video, definitely click down below and check out the description box. A lot of things were Amazon, Ikea, Target, Walmart. I think those were like the main places, but we will try to link as much as we can down below in the description box. really love having e-cloths in my kitchen. You guys know I love these. I talk about them all the time. It is not sponsored. Um, I just love these cloths. So I went ahead and got a set um, to leave in the kitchen. So if you come visit and you want to check them out, or if you want to get a set of your own, um, I'll leave the link and my coupon code down below in my description box. I always have one with them, but I love e-cloth rags because they look brand new the day you get them until five years down the line. I swear mine still look brand new. You only use water to clean if you want to. I also use it with my Jaws products as well. I kind of mix and match, but I just feel like they're the best rags I've ever owned and they just hold up so well over time. I love when it gets to the point where you start decorating like the countertops and maybe the open shelves. I feel like the kitchen really starts to like warm up and come together. I am not big about keeping appliances out on countertops. I feel like it looks messy. They get dusty. It's just another thing to clean or have to move while you're cleaning. But I know when it comes to coffee, it has to go out on the countertop. I don't drink coffee myself, but Chase does. And you just need easy access. So when we were designing this kitchen, I wanted to have just like a little coffee bar over here. Um, so that's what we're gonna turn this little space into. And I love, love, love how it turned out. I 
thought I'd like open shelving, but in this kitchen, there wasn't really room for a cabinet or I felt like it would look a little awkward or heavy. So we went ahead and did these floating shelves. Now that I see them, I love them. And I'm a very clean and organized person, so I'm not sure why I didn't think I'd like them, but there's just something so neat to decorate with the pieces you're gonna be using. I would love to put these in a house one day. And I also wanted to show you up close, we had like little custom mugs made with the logo of our Airbnb. So hopefully you get to come and try those out one day. Another really cool tip when you're trying to warm up like a bright white kitchen is to add some wood elements in or black or whatever color honestly that you like. But I've, I've noticed in my current home adding wood does so much. And like I said in this house, the walls were white, the cabinets were white, we went with a white backsplash. So just leaning up all these cutting boards really added warmth, it added dimension. Plus, if you need to cut something, it's very visual. You just grab one and use it. So when you can like do multi-purpose, like with decorating and function, it works out so well. When you're decorating a space, especially when you're doing a reno, you really have to keep in mind of how you're gonna be decorating the space. If I wanted to use all these wood elements and black elements and I went with a really dark kitchen, then the whole kitchen would be dark. Now, if that's the look you're going for, great. But if you're wanting to kind of balance it out, I went with a really white kitchen. So at first it was like, okay, maybe this is a little too much white. But then as you start adding in those other elements and pieces, it brings it all together. Okay, so this is on another day and I decided to move these clear canisters um, over here on the shelving. I felt like when you first walked into the kitchen, it was just a little too much with the cutting boards and I'm gonna fill those up later. I don't know if I show it on camera or not, but you'll see it in the picture at the end. But I felt like they just worked better up here. If you need to use them, they're up there. I feel like they're probably more for looks. So you'll probably wanna buy your own stuff, but there will be like sugar and brown sugar and flour up there. Find your way in time to find someone is a blessing. The love you find you won't be able to deny. Just hey. Now we're gonna do a little mini project um, in this kitchen. Um, I'll link this down below in my description box, but we bought this off Etsy, but basically it's a very large map of the United States and it is like a cork board. And so I thought this would be a fun way to fill up this really white plain wall here in the kitchen. And then we could see where all of our visitors are coming from to come stay at the Modern Jewel. So there's instructions on the wall of what to do if you come, but Chase was putting it together so we could kind of like measure it out on the floor and know where we need to start putting the pieces up on the wall. You do have to be a little careful when you do something like this because you want it centered and kind of once you put it on there, you don't want to rip it back off. So just be super careful if you ever get something like this, just to make sure you're putting it in the right spot. Wait, 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 wait,
it did come with instructions on which one to put up first and where to put the tape, but it was a little tricky. But basically, once you get that first one set, all the rest just kind of line up with it. So if you're wanting to do something like this, the hardest part is just putting that first one up. And then after that, it's pretty easy to do. From all of this, I know there's a bright day for you. Tell me, what are you saying? What game are we playing? I want us to be for real now, real now. Oh, 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 I, so I, we, 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 why? You, yeah, you, die. I will, we, we, we. You're gonna have to bear with me on some of these clips. I I actually got a new camera and like one of the settings got way off and I didn't even know it because it was a new camera so it's a little grainy in a few of these clips but I promise I'll have that figured out very soon. I feel like when you're doing like a kitchen makeover, if you're just trying to like decorate it, there's not much you can do. You can get like a cute hand soap, a cute little sponge holder, some plants to throw out in there. But basically when you're working on a kitchen, you're just trying to get it organized and make it function really well for whoever's using it. Okay, now I'm gonna start showing you some before and after clips. I feel like these are always the best part of any video or any TV show that I watch. I love seeing how it started and then how it turned out. So sit back and relax and watch these and definitely don't click off yet because the last photos are all gonna be inside the cabinets and how I have them organized and how I have them labeled. In my Lots of different ways you could go about labeling your cabinets, but for me, I just use my Cricut Joy Machine. It's the easiest thing for me to do. I just create it like on my phone from an app and then print off. Um, and I just think it's gonna help people that are staying there and then the cleaners that are helping us out or if I'm there and I don't remember where something goes because I haven't been there in a little bit. So as you can see, I didn't label every single thing, but all the main pieces that would need to get back to a spot, I went ahead and labeled. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Go and get your kitchen organized. I promise you, you're gonna feel so much better once it's done. If you're new here, I would love for you to click that red subscribe button. If you've been here before and subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.